Welcome to Canva Tutorials by Like It or Not. I'm so glad you're joining us for this week's tutorial on Canva organization. In fact, this is going to be a short series, so stay tuned to find out the course information and when the rest will be out. As always, every expert was once a beginner, so let's get started. Let's talk about organizing our Canva homepage to make it more cohesive and easier to find things. This is going to be especially helpful if you're creating content for more than one specific purpose, such as more than one business or more than one YouTube channel. This is something that can be done for free. Create your own cover page. When you look at your homepage, you're going to notice that there is a thumbnail for the project. And this thumbnail is specifically from page one of your design. Here are all my designs and the cover page you'll see, I've got it very simple. Some of them have not updated yet. I've changed this one and this one. Sometimes it takes a little while, but you'll notice that for all of them, I have a large font and a smaller font and a line. Let's look at this one because I've not finished with this cover page yet and I want to give you a good look at it. I have grouped objects together. I have it in the Bernaru font and the top one I think is at 104, but it doesn't matter. It's whatever your style is, as long as you can read it pretty easy and tell what it is. I've got the channel name that it is for, like it or not. So you could put your business name or whatever project you're doing this for up at the top in big letters so that you know. And you can also use color to your advantage use a different color for different types of projects. So for this one, it's like it or not, and the Vivo mount for my computer monitor. Let's see, do I have, oh, I've got a great picture. Let me copy, control C. There we go. I took a screenshot and his head was off camera. So when I worked it on the thumbnail, I made sure that that segment wasn't seen. Let's go get that check mark. Check. A lot of these, you'll notice the pro. Here's one for free. So I'm just gonna get that. I'm gonna size it down a little bit and put it down here even. And I'm gonna change it to white because it is done. It's actually not quite done, but it is close. So since it's not quite done, let me take away my check because it's not quite finished. Almost finished. That way I know this project right here is almost finished. And when I do finish it, I'll be able to add the check mark. Let's go back to home page. You're going to notice that it didn't change. I did this one not too long ago and it has not changed yet, but I did this one before and it has. So sometimes it takes a little bit of time for things to catch up. So how do you create one from scratch? Before I show you how to create your own cover page, I want to let you know that the next video in this series will answer the question, are you able to organize things for free in Canva? And how does that look different as a Canva Pro member? If you need to view certain parts of this lesson multiple times, check out the timestamps listed in the description of the video for each segment. How do you create one from scratch? Let me show you. Let me see all, and I'm gonna find one that I've not done yet. And I want a project, oh, here's a good one. 
this one's actually complete. Let's go up here and add a page. Now, a pro tip would be to do this first. That way you don't have to wait for your thumbnails. All right, T on the keyboard, and it automatically gives me open sans light, and that's not what I want, but this was for a Canva class. So that's the channel it was for, and I'm gonna change it to, oh. It was one of the Bernoros. There we go. I'm gonna make it larger. I will change the placement later, but type L on your keyboard for a line. We're gonna change the line weight so that it's bigger and change the line style so that it matches. And I'm gonna set it right underneath. And then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this. And what was this one? Rulers, Guides, and More. So, Ruler, Guides, and More. And then I'm gonna change it to be a little bit smaller. Don't wanna miss out on a single Canva tutorial? Be sure to tap the subscribe button or the logo you see in the lower right-hand corner of this video. Are you ready to learn about how to copy from one project to another to help you duplicate your cover photo for multiple designs? Let's take a look at that right now. Let me look at these. I wanna look at this just so I can see if it's the same font. It is. If you highlight over everything like this and co copy it, Control C, and you go over here, you can actually, let me um, get me another page. You can actually click on the page and do Control V, and it's gonna pop up in the same exact spot. So I can do Canva class here, and then rulers, guides, and actually it was print bleed that was in that one. So move up, there we go. I can delete this one. Let's see if there's any kind of clue that I wanna to give to myself. I'm probably gonna use this ruler, so I'm gonna duplicate the ruler, and then I'm gonna slide it up to this. Okay, apparently it didn't take. Sometimes that happens. Duplicate. I'm going to resize this ruler. You grab the little circles and then shrink it down. Let's get rid of that. We're going to use a ruler because it's a ruler. Change the transparency. And here I'm taking the funny little arrows and I'm rotating it. I'm just going to make it at 90 degrees and then set it there. Now this one is done, so let's find that check mark. Oh, it might be in the recent. Yep. Let's do white. Shrink it down a little bit. Put it in the margin spot. Let's take this up to the margin spot. And it's just aligning. Canva class, rulers, gods, and pl plant breed. Wow. Print bleed. Let's go back to home. And you're going to see that it has not changed. But guess what? This one changed, this green screen. My computer got bigger on that one. But you get the idea. You create a cover page on your first one and you make them look similar, but then give yourself a few clues whether it's done or not and also what's in it. It's announcement time! <laughs> The first is that on July 13th, we reached the magical number of 100. This means a custom URL. I haven't set that yet, but I will be setting it soon. Be sure to leave a comment with what you think the custom link should be. The second 
is that I have created a Facebook group for Canva creators. There will be a link in the description below. Let's finish up this lesson and the final two announcements are going to be about the next three lessons in this series. Who's going to use this on their Canva homepage? Comment below if you're going to use this. Share it with me in the Facebook group that I've created. All right, let's move on to, what are we moving on to? Organizing things for free in Canva. Mm, folders. That's a good topic. That topic will be the next video in our organization series. Following that, there will be a lesson on daily planners and brand kits. Each one will share the differences between the free version and Canva Pro. This leads me to my final announcement. I actually signed up for Canva Pro on Saturday morning because the 45 Canva Tools video became too much for me to green screen out. It was very simple to do, but when you have to do over 50 of them in a 38 minute video, it becomes overwhelming. If you haven't seen that video yet, be sure to check out the info card. I will link it there. I am so very thankful for all of you for learning with me today. Don't forget to share this channel with your Canva creator friends and remember to do all the things to be notified for your next class in Canva. See you next time. Bye.